I'm Naisha McCauley, and you're watching AccessTV.org. Dedicated to the only serious choice, the gospel of Jesus Christ, the music, and the spoken word, you're watching Light Source Victory Television Live with me, your host, Pastor Jay Sam McCauley, inviting you to sit back and relax for the next eight minutes as we continue our journey into the life-changing, life-giving, everlasting word of the Most High God. My friends, it's time for the eight-minute Bible study. Now, of course, it is my Bible study time that I spend with you. We try and do it each and every day right here at accesstv.org, on Facebook, Pinterest, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and uh, other social media uh, here, there, and around the world. Of course, we are broadcasting live from the greatest city on earth, Hartford, Connecticut, New England's rising star. So, let's get started because, of course, we only have eight minutes so grab your life-changing life-giving everlasting word of the most high god your sword of the lord your bible and uh let's get underway when we were last together we were reading out of romans chapter 13 i think we got down to around six or seven because of course we were kind of like hanging there for a couple of days so let's let's push our way past this and move on as we uh <coughs> try to rightly divide the Word of God. Oh, by the way, if you miss any of the eight-minute Bible studies, you can check it out at AccessTV.org, channel 10, okay? And it's my Bible study time that I spend with you. I don't prepare what I'm going to say. Uh, I don't have some profound, deep, thematic message. My message is Jesus saves, but if you trust Him with your life and allow Him and the Holy Spirit to order your footsteps... You can't help but be victorious in any and all things that you do. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Everything else falls into place. That's it. You don't need no special prayer, no prayer of Jabez, no walking this, that, nothing. Seek God's face. Everything else falls into place. Instead of trying to make certain things fall into place, and then, you know, life is in disarray. Just put Jesus first. Walk by faith and not by sight. That's simple. And that's my overall message. Okay, let's get started. First, let's uh, let's go to verse uh, verse seven. We'll pick it up there. Render therefore to all their due, because of course we're getting out of uh, you know Christian relations, uh, Christians and how they relate to human government. But uh, we're, we're finished that. Okay, we're not going to keep going back over and over. Render therefore to all their dues. Tribute to whom tribute is due. Custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, or reverence, or, you know, to whom fear, and honor to whom honor. Verse 8, oh, no man anything but to love one another. Bottom line, you shouldn't owe anyone anything other than to love them, to agape them. To render unto them the love that God has rendered unto you. Other than that, you really shouldn't know anybody. Okay? Oh, no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. For this thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying. Namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Now, of these overview sins, because generally speaking, we were all guilty of at least one of these, if not a multitude, in our lifetime. Uh, which, of course, we've covered ad nauseum. Uh, that this is, of course, establishes the whole rationale and reason why we need God's grace and uh, His mercy. And that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Shall we continue in sin? The grace may abound. God forbid. Of course not. If you are involved in any of these things, you need to stop. But having said that, if thou treat thy neighbor as thyself, if you love your neighbor as yourself, you won't commit these things. Okay? 
because you will be uh, demonstrating the love of God, the love that God has demonstrated to you, to others. And if you do that, you will not be one that comes into a place where you are offending someone else by the actions that you do. All of these actions are focused on the self. All right? Adultery. All right? Uh, uh, to be involved in a relationship sexually outside of the relationship in which you have made a commitment to uh, be singular in. Okay? So, with outside of the marriage vows. So, who does that serve? Self. All right? Thou shalt not kill or thou shalt not murder. All right, resolving a conflict by taking the life of someone else. You, you've passed judgment that they should not exist and, and you remove them from being uh, because of your conflict with them. You know, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. So there, there's no need for you to be out murdering anybody. Thou shalt not steal. That's to take something from someone else uh, and, 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 and make it your own, to, to, to remove from their possession and, and make it yours with uh, without their um, without their sanction. So you want to take what you want, steal. All right? Who does stealing? When you steal something, who does that benefit? Benefits once again self. Covet to desire to have uh, and own something uh, that is not yours, but belongs to someone else. Who does that? Uh, who does that benefit? It doesn't benefit someone else. It benefits. You, the reason you steal, the reason you covet, the steal, reason you uh, commit adultery, the reason you murder, all to soup, all to satisfy who? Self, right? Self is at the center of of that little episode there, right? All right, let's continue. If there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore. Love is the fulfilling of the law. You know, in that Christ kept the law, we have an opportunity for salvation. What is grace? Briefly, we've gone over it a thousand times here. Grace is that which God may be free to do, indeed that which he does on behalf of Christ, after that Christ has paid the price. In order to be gracious, you have to have something to be gracious with. And God is gracious with the shed blood of the Lamb. And it was poured out on Calvary's cross for the remission of of our sins my sin and your sin so god is graceful he is merciful or excuse me he is gracious and he is merciful and uh, motivated by his love for us has made provision and provided the way if you allow the love of christ the love of god the love of the father to be manifest and expressed in you you will fulfill the law my friends, our time together has come to an end, as it does each and every time we have the 8-Minute Bible Study. that goes by very quickly. So remember this as we depart. When it's all said and done, the only thing you need to know is this fact, and that is, of course, Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. He alone saves and changes lives. Won't you call on His name today? Allow Him to be Lord of your life. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.